Hi everyone, this is Teo from Puckerblocks.com. Today I want to show you two sketchbooks that I collect. This is the first one. This is uh, called All Over Coffee. This is by the artist Paul Madonna. He is working in San Francisco and All Over Coffee is a collection of comic strips that he published in the San Francisco Chronicle. This is the first book. And this is the second book, the sequel to the the earlier book, this one is called Everything is its own reward. So these two are very thick hardcover books with lots of wonderful sketches. So let's just go in and see his artworks. All Over Coffee is a series that is sort of like a comic strip, but it's not your conventional comic strip in the sense that the characters uh, they are not human or animals. The character is actually San Francisco city itself. So this is a collection of sketches and drawings that have been published in San Francisco Chronicle over the years. So when it first started out this series, uh, they took on a format uh, like a landscape format and then you have different panels inside. All the text here are actually uh, fictional stories written by Paul Madonna himself. They are not real, but they feel very real. So, so these are some of the sketches. Most of them, if I'm not wrong, are drawn on location. I read it somewhere at the back of the book. He likes to use a CPR ink for drawings and very thin lines. This is quite a large uh, book, about maybe about A4 size like that, but his paintings are even larger. Some would be about 16 inches by 20 inches. So you can see the earlier strips, they are in horizontal format, but when you move to the later dates, uh, you can see that the format has changed to a much larger format. So I, I enjoy the larger formats better and it just looks better. But I would love to see the actual uh, drawings themselves. This particular one is really very beautiful. He likes to use thin lines so he can get in, he can draw in a lot of details. Every piece of work is like a, is like a study for tonal values. So this is the first book. It has 176 pages, I think. The second book is um, thicker, much thicker, 240 pages. It's really well worth the money. So this is uh, sepia ink on watercolor. All these texts are actually uh, handwritten and drawn by Paul Madonna himself, as are all the texts inside his drawings. These are all different places in San Francisco, the houses, different the rural areas, hidden alleys. And one thing you would notice is that there are no people in his drawings, so he just left them out. The writing also gives uh, personality to the sketches themselves. It's quite wonderful to read, uh, but it's, very, it's a very nice compliment to the artwork. You can see how detailed, how how wonderful the light is captured. The tonal value used uh, is just, um, I would say, per almost perfect. This is a wonderful sketch. Um, this is really huge. I love the double page um, presentation for this particular sketch. It looks really fantastic in this reproduction.
so there are a few more pages but you can just um, look at them online on his website at paulmadonna.com but you will have to dig through his archive if you, were to, if you were to get the book then well it's in a very convenient package you can just flip through and it's not too expensive each book is just under 30 US dollars Uh, he seldom uses color, but sometimes he does do that to emphasize certain objects in his scene. This. So at the back of the book, you have the thumbnail of all the drawings, and including the size that he drew those drawings at. And you basically have a long interview where he talks about how he draws on location and his and his inspiration, his process. You can get this book online. I love these two sketchbooks. Well, um, they are really very beautiful sketchbooks. The drawings are really very fantastic. Lots of detail. I like the way he captures light and shadow using sepia ink and in monotone style. Now, if you look closer into the sketches, you will be able to see little details that he squeezed onto the canvas. So that's all for today's uh, feature. I'll post the links to where you can buy these two books in the description under this video as well as link to his website. Uh, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'll be featuring more sketchbooks, art products as well as sketching tips in the future. Thanks and have a nice day.